Good. Meantime, this morning, a new spotlight on immigration reform. House Democrats just wrapping up with the group Fast for Families. Progress has been stalled on immigration on Capitol Hill, where a bill languishes in the House. And Jeb Bush got people talking about immigration when he said over the weekend that the Republican Party had lost its way and called undocumented immigrants bringing their families to the United States illegally an act of love, touching off a backlash that hasn't let up. Joining me now, Democratic Kentucky Congressman John Yarmuth, uh, part of a bipartisan group of House members who tried to get something done on immigration last year. Congressman, good to see you again. Good to see you, Chris. So as somebody who's worked with Republicans on this issue of immigration, does the kind of strong negative reaction we're seeing to Jeb Bush from the right tell us that any kind of immigration reform is unlikely? Well, I don't think so. I'm actually still pretty optimistic that once we get pa past the primary season and the filing that Speaker Boehner is going to try to bring something to the floor. You know, the, the, the crazy thing about this debate, Chris, is that everybody's for immigration reform. I mean, there's virtually no organized opposition to it. Uh, and Jeb Bush said several months ago something even more compelling than yesterday. He said no Republican would vote for a policy that tears family, families apart, jeopardizes national security, and wrecks the economy. But that's exactly what they'll be doing if they vote against comprehensive immigration reform. And most Republicans know this. So we're confident confident that there are more than enough votes on the house in the house to pass comprehensive reform if we can get it to the floor and uh, that's why we're trying to work uh, to put pressure on republican members cuz this is all about republican electoral politics it's not about the policy and yet the guy who helped get Jeb Bush's brother elected seemed to be trying to backtrack on what Jeb Bush said uh, this is what he had to say on Tuesday Carl Rove the point he was making was people come here by and large because they want to work in order to provide for their families. That's something that a lot of people, even opponents of immigration reform, acknowledge and recognize. But he said it in an unartful way. The key for him now is not to make this kerfluffle into a bigger mistake because he's going to be hit about this. If he becomes a candidate, this will be tossed back at him. Well, if it's going to be tossed back at him, that really does raise some questions, not just about obviously November, but the larger picture coming up on the presidential election. Right. Is immigration something that's going to move votes? Is it, is it going to make the difference? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think it will. Ultimately, it will hurt Republicans if they're seen as the party that blocks reform. Uh, and, and Speaker Boehner well knows that, as do many other Republicans. So, yeah, it, eventually it's going to hurt Republicans. It's probably not going to move many votes uh, away from Republicans. Republicans right now uh, in this next midterm, but uh, long term it will. Well, but I'm sure you know, Congressman, that John Boehner said immigration reform has been a political football for 15 years, that he's tried to get the House on it this year, but reform would be almost impossible if President Obama continues to sign executive orders to change the system. What about that, and what about the push by some people that the president should use his executive power to improve the immigration system? Right. The president's under a lot of pressure. I mean, one of the things that most people don't know is there are literally thousands of United States citizen children now in foster homes because their parents have been deported. I mean, there are human tragedies occurring day after day after day in this country. The president's trying to, to figure out how to deal with that issue. Uh, but there's so many elements to immigration reform. Just this week, the limit on annual H-1B visas, which are the visas we give to very high, talented, highly skilled workers, uh, were was reached. So that means for the next eight months, none of these brilliant people from around the world can come to the United States. That's one of the elements that we're trying to correct as well. So um, this is an incredibly important uh, reform, not just for to, to avert human tragedy, to bring taxpayers into the system, but also to bring brilliant people here who will create jobs and, and become very productive citizens. So th this is a no-brainer policy. And again, it's all about Republican electoral politics. Congressman Yarmouth, always good to have you on the program. Thank you. Thanks, Chris.